Hello, in this video, I'm gonna talk about using off-camera flash for indoors photography. Why it is the best solution for indoors photography and the most powerful and affordable one instead of spending a fortune on fancy flashes. At the same time, I'll be unboxing the new flash that I have got and I'll be demonstrating at the end of the video by taking two different shots, one with the flash and another one without the flash just to see the difference. This is Iyad from Zero to Hero Photography and please hit the like button, subscribe and activate the notification bell to get the latest of my videos. Off camera flash means using a flash off the camera, <laughs> separately from the camera, like this one. In other words, you can trigger the shutter on your camera and the flash will give the light for your photo. You can attach it on your camera or separately away from your camera. They come in different shapes and types, but today I'm going to be focusing on something called speed light flash, which is this, this little one. It's small, compact, and especially for indoors photography, it's preferable to use it, as I learned, because it's small and compact, you can put it in your pocket and use it wherever you want quickly. It comes with a little uh, oh, small trigger that you can put it on top of your camera and place the flash away from the camera within the same room, even in hidden spots, in order to give them some light to back up your photo quality and exposure. Uh, indoor photography, we want photographers wants to move fast and quickly. They don't have time to carry a lot of stuff and heavy stuff around the property or real estate to take the shots. So carrying a small one in their pocket can help them take quick shots and finish the photography project quickly. At the same time, it gives the exact or enough amount of light for the photos. So no need to carry big ones. And we don't, they, they don't usually play around with the shadows as much as they do in portrait photography, for example because they want to, the photo to be as bright, as clean and crisp and sharp for the viewer because they want to offer the property for sale. They don't want to have dark or cozy ones because they want to look good on smaller photos like thumbnails and we want to give the people the, or the buyer, potential buyers a nice clean view of the property. Another reason for using it is that because it's small, you can carry with you up to five or seven or eight maybe flashes for indoor photography. This is what professional photographers use, around eight ones, depending on the size of the room or the house they're taking. And they put them in hidden spots just to give more light for the photo. Or maybe only one if it's basic photography or basic room, and it's good enough to light the entire room. It can also be placed on its own because it comes with a base for it and stand on the corner of the room or on the shelves or on top of the door wherever you want without having the hassle of finding a big one with big stand. Nowadays I'm learning about indoors photography and real estate photography. It was recommended to use off-camera flash for indoors photography. So I went and bought this, this little one. I didn't go for the Canon. By the way, my camera is Canon 250D. The Canon flash is supposedly good because it's Canon and it supports my brand. However, it's a bit over my budget. I didn't want to invest in a high-end flash at this point of my career as a potential photographer in the future. <laughs> so I got this Chinese brand called Godox, which is uh, popular everywhere on the internet and it works on several cameras. I didn't do a thorough research because I found out a problem which I'll tell you about it later. But now I'm going to unbox this, this flash and show you what comes inside.
Now, the beauty of this flash, as I said before, is that it's small and compact. And the thing is, you can mount it on top of the camera to support the direct uh, shot that you want to take. Or you can mount it or put it somewhere in the corner of the room and use the trigger that comes with it. So I can put this trigger on top of my camera, mount it on the camera, and take the shot and this one will light up. I don't know if you can see it, but if we turn the power on, see it indicates red light, which means it's charged. And I can use the trigger to fire the flash. I don't know if you noticed that on videos, but the thing is, but the thing is, my problem is that I'm using Canon 250D, and in this specific model, doesn't take or accept any sort of flash because they have changed the mounting system or the hot shoe base on the camera itself. Previously, flashes used to have this pin, if you see it, this silver one, and you put it on the camera and the camera gets in touch with the flash or connects with the flash through this pin. And the flash gets the power or the order to shoot its light when we trigger the shutter on the camera. However, on my camera 250D, it came with different base. It came with four different points around this base, not one in the center. So I couldn't use the flash and I was so frustrated. I went to the nearest camera shop instead of ordering it online. I explained the problem to the guy and apparently Godox brand is well known and as I, used, as I said before, it's used uh, in, in different ways because for example, Canon has similar flash speed light, but they don't have the bigger ones that come in studios or even for interior photography. Um, I forgot the name, but it's, it's big. It, Canon doesn't produce them, but Godox does. So the guy suggested another solution called a wireless trigger that comes to the to this brand. It's this one, this one, and this Godox apparently has the same base as my camera, and it's universal. It also has the pin under it to to use it on other uh, on other cameras. Let's unbox it and talk about it a little bit. As you see, this little wireless trigger has a base, if you can see it on the camera. Yeah, you see, it's not clear, but you can see that it has several pins. Four for my camera and another one for the regular cameras or other cameras. So I can mount it on top of my camera and then I can put my flash on top of it or if I want it separate, I can use this mount, this trigger of my original flash on top of it and then I can fire my flash using this trigger from my camera. This is one solution, honestly speaking, out of many solutions apparently. When I googled it, I found so many solutions, but this is the best one for my problem. And the beauty of it is that it can connect up to, I think, eight or 10 or maybe 20 flashes at the same time. So if I invest in other flashes in the future, like Godox ones, I can use one trigger for all of them. Now, how to use this flash for interior photography? Well, for portraits, especially if, the, if it's nighttime, you can just point this flash at the direction of the subject, not directly on the subject because it's gonna blind them, first of all. Second of all, it's too powerful. Sometimes they point it on top of them or around them. But for, in, for indoor photography, we need to point it not directly at the room because it's gonna be too strong and sharp. We want it to give it a flare. That's why it should be pointed at the walls and the walls will reflect the, the light and diffuse it. It will give it a cozier or softer feeling to the photo. So 
In order to get the maximum amount of flash or light reflected on the room, we need to find a corner on the room that has two or three sides of the wall. For example, one wall, another wall, and then the ceiling. In this corner, if we have a, a white painted or of white painted walls, we can point the flash at that corner and then the reflection will bounce back at the room itself and give it enough light and dress it up in a warm feeling. If you put it directly on the room, it can be very strong and powerful. Sometimes they use a tripod to put it on top of the uh, ceiling. I mean, not very close to the walls because then the flash will be limited in one area, but it, will be, it should be around one meter away from that corner using a tripod maybe, or even in the hand of the photographer, because its camera will be on timer anyway, to avoid any shaking in the photo. You put the timer, wait for it for two seconds, and then it will fire the shot, and the flash will light the picture on. So this is how to use it. Now, use it. Now I'm going to demonstrate taking two shots of my living room, one without the flash, and another one will be supported with the flash, just to see how we can do it. As you saw, in both photos, the photo looked lit well enough because it's daytime and I have big windows. If we had smaller windows, if I had smaller windows, then I would definitely rely more on the flash. But in my example, you saw how the difference between the photos and the flash gave it a brighter look and nice spacious look let me say of the room and softer light if you enjoyed my video and found it beneficial hit the like button subscribe and activate the notification bell and heads up i might be starting a youtube challenge next week i'm going to try to post uh, 21 videos on 21 days thank you and see you next week